guy here and welcome back to Nightmare Begins. Alright, so I decided to take a little break from uh, inventing stuff for the TU-14 and put a little bit of time back into my own little personal map here. Um, so I did do some kind of a cheesy little villager thing just because I wanted to get a bunch of villagers to check out the trades. Um, I'm going to do a hell of a lot better system than that so that way I can furnish my uh, my uh, village here and get my iron golem farm up and running uh, which I started one. I did a nice little video with a buddy there um, King Toast and we were bringing our villagers over and for some reason the sound went all crappy on it and it sounds like shit so I can't use it and I'm really disappointed because we had a lot of fun uh, bringing these guys over here and experiencing uh, a bug glitch there when uh, you send your villagers out of range, render range, they hop out. Um, so we had to walk a few of them over and it was uh, pretty comical so uh, it was too bad I didn't get there that uh, I would have really liked to. Um, so, yeah, villager trading. So I got some interesting little trades here. Uh, I got these two guys dancing and a nice little iron rolling in the middle. Uh, where are my priests? Do I see them anywhere? Oh, here we go. Oh, no, these are my librarians, sorry. This guy's got bookshelves. Uh, the other one has paper for, um, emeralds. If I ever know where he went to. He might be hiding in one of these houses, too. Um, but whatever. Yeah, so uh, I only have a few of them that are half-decent. And I haven't really spent much time uh, unlocking them. Uh, just because I wanted to pretty much well see what was going on. Um, one thing I did discover, though, that I won't be needing this dirt at all. Uh, for a few reasons. Uh, reason number one, wolves cannot attack my sheep while they're glitched out in that block. And they just stand there and try to attack them, but they can't. So that's pretty good. I can leave that open. Plus, um, Broadbent did a video uh, recently where you could um, put some carpet over top of uh, some signs and mobs won't go through. They'll think it's a... Uh, like a like a hole, I guess. So they won't uh, they won't go through, and they'll stop chasing you. Um, so yeah, wolves are no danger of my sheep. So I can leave them open like that, and eventually I can build them a nice little stall over top of them, so it doesn't look so weird. Um, cow farm. I'm missing three cows on that side, uh, but apparently everything seems a lot better than what it was before. Uh, I don't have cows jumping out anymore, so that's nice. Um, I'll just have to replace my three cows and this farm will be 100% operational again, which is nice. And then I started to work on the inside of my place a little bit. And I'll show you what I've done to the left. So we all know that there was nothing there before. So I went a little crazy over here and decided to open this up and get all that done and that way it's ready for the pillar and then me trying to add it to the levels. I did the same thing on the other side over here. That way we're all good to go. And I've connected it here. So that way I'm going to probably have a secret door going in through these sides here. Um, I think that would probably be neat. And then I went and decided to do this little area. It's my farming area. And I got these farms up and running, this farm up and running, and my three-in-one farm up and running. The only one I'm missing is the one I'm going to do right here, and it's going to be a cocoa bean farm. Um, and then I should pretty much well have all the farms covered, because uh, in my nether I have the nether ward. So here's kind of like a 100% lossless uh, system. So everything gets jammed in the middle. Now you see the ones that get jammed up there? Well, they'll get unjammed in a second. Boom. And then they come back. 
So you might have to step on it twice, but everything goes exactly in the middle and nothing goes at the bottom, which I think is pretty awesome. Then we have these little farms. Uh, these ones, I wish I could have put ice underneath, but pumpkins won't grow on ice. So, um, yeah, it would have made it pretty complicated. Anyways, anyways, with further ado, this one too is like 100% lossless. Um, you get everything from it. I haven't seen not one of them jump out onto the sides yet, so that's pretty nice. That's that little farm, and this is another one. I put uh, melons on one side, pumpkins on the other. So this is going to be the same thing. Like I said I wish I could have put ice underneath there, but it brought it to me a lot faster. And then this one is just melons, so that way I get a nice even distribution of all of them. And that's it. So they're only, uh, what, seven long, and then my water source at the end. So I'm getting like 14 out of each, which isn't too bad. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's see. Do I, have, where, uh, do I have any bone meal left? I have two pieces of bone meal. Wow. Uh, that's not very good. Not a very good demonstration at all. Alright, but I did notice one thing about here. Um, you're not going to need the pressure plates. Um, for some reason, Creative and uh, was it their survival have a lot of differences in loading chunks. Um, because I needed a pressure plate in Creative, and here I don't. As you see, the water goes away right away. It does not flow. And if you stand here, well, you might have a chance, too, of grabbing the ones that are going to possibly fall in there. So I figure that's pretty good. That's not a bad little thing. And, yeah, that's this room. Uh, i got to finish adding some glowstone up here, uh, glowstone lamps. Uh, by the way, the game's on uh, peaceful, just because I don't feel in the mood to fight anything. And... Um, there's just so many things that are broken that are kind of disappointing me that I'm going to go around and fix. Um, and this is just pretty much what I'll show you what I have been planned. I'm going to probably finish off this door soon and finish off the inside. Um, I was thinking a way of lighting up the exterior of my, uh, of my farm here. And I'm not really sure if I should light it up or leave it that is and just add half slabs. Um, let me know what y'all think, what I should do with that. And then eventually, hopefully, maybe I can get time to work on uh, a statue up the top. So that's that. And then my door, well, the button closes the door. Oh yeah, I had to take a few pieces out to get in and out. <laughs> but it, uh, it don't open it. So that I gotta go figure out. So that's one of the things that are broken. Uh, the pressure plates open it. And the bug, the glitch for my door seems to be gone. Um, I don't get that visual glitch anymore. And the block is there. So that's a nice improvement. Um, at least the door still works. There's at least that. Then there's my tree eaters. Uh, I fixed one of them. I'm going to have to go back into creative and uh, check out my dual tree eater. Um, I don't know about the version 1. I don't remember uh, if I got it to work or not. <laughs> um, here I had placed a torch key um, to open this door and stuff, but it's kind of broken. So this was my secret entrance to uh, my mine and uh, my slime farm. So I had hooked up a, um, a minecart system here, so that way I can go in and out. And then I decided to decorate this nice little area like this, make it look kind of nice. And come down in here, and this system I think is broken too. I know the upstairs part is broken, but I'm not sure about all this. Um, gonna have to go figure it all out. And then I did all this. It looks pretty nice like that, actually. And then this is off to my mine. So you step on a pressure plate, and you can go off into your mines. Just, to, you know, instead of having an open door. figured that was okay. And my lighting here. Nice little roof. And then we get to the slime farm. 
and I lavered her all off so that way you can't go out there and you can't disturb the spawn rates it's always gonna just spawn should anyways um, I'm gonna eventually go out there now that I have pumpkin farms and stuff like that I'll be able to go and replace my floor with pumpkins uh, or some kind of a pumpkin pattern or some crap like that um, all the lava came from here I had like all this open and actually I need you I am like so out of redstone it's not funny like badly out of redstone I think that was pretty much well, almost all the redstone I had was what I just collected right there um, I think I had a little bit on me too but not much and then this well, at least that still works, that's good. So yeah, that's my slime farm. Uh, that's gonna be booming soon. So I just got my thing in here to fix. And this is okay, because it's just a minecart. And then I got my door here to fix, which is probably just the um, the way I have it wired up. Uh, because it closed fine, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see it closed right, but it doesn't open right. Yeah, so I'll have to figure that out. Um, this was the wiring for all of that. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to get out here instead. Dope. Oh, well, I'll just break through the wall over here. Probably be a lot faster. Uh, yeah, there. That's good. And then, like I said, I got my tree to fix. This one I fixed. Uh, this one works fine. Uh, so I've been using just the single one for now. Um, and that's pretty much what all I've done, really. Um, future plans. I want to try to finish off this castle. Uh, that's a most definite. And I want to be able to kill the Ender Dragon soon because I want to go and do my Ender Farm in there. Um, I wouldn't mind resetting my <laughs> Nether. I haven't done that yet, uh, just because I'm still using it as my XP farm. And as soon as I get my End one up and running, I think I will. Yeah, I think I'm gonna reset my nether so that way I still have an XP farm before I go and do that um, in my mines I did find a large area that was um, it was mine shafts so that's where I got my pumpkin seeds and my melon seeds from if you're all wondering because I remember telling you all at the beginning that I didn't have any so yeah, I got lots of things left to do on here, but this was just kind of like a quick update video. I don't want to make it too, too long, but yeah, so that's pretty much all what I've been up to for this. I've done this. took me a uh, portion of last night and somewhat of today to do this. Um, sometimes I can be pretty, uh, I guess... Uh, pretty productive in a sense so I still have some beautifying in here to do but I like the sunken walls and coming in and out type look to it there gives it kind of a nice little look but uh, yeah I guess that's it so far so uh, I guess when I get things more fixed up I'll do an update uh, on my next video for the map for the download um, just because there's just so much stuff that is broken and I feel kind of like, you know, disappointed giving you a broken map. <laughs> In a sense. So, uh, that's it everybody. Take care. Peace. Hope you enjoyed.